Hey everybody, how are you? This is Peter again for MLB Trade Rumors and Discussions. It's Saturday, January 4, 2020. Keeping with our tradition, we are making a video every single day for the rest of the year, like I told you guys. And we are just going to jump right into it. I'm sorry that I'm a little bit late today. I'm in a hotel, as you can see. That's, so that's why it's a little bit late for me. I went away with my family. But it doesn't matter. We're not going to stop. But what I wanted to do is I really wanted to talk about really fast about the bullpen since today's rumors were pretty quiet, NFL was going on, and which I've been watching. So I wanted to really jump into what do you guys think about closers and what do you think of the Diamondbacks bullpen because I think that's going to be a really key part, right? As I was mentioning into my other videos that we have a lot of pitchers who can go at least six innings. We know Bumgarner can pitch as many innings as possible. So we have a lot of pitchers who can eat into the sixth and seventh inning right now, right? I feel like Merrill Kelly can even do that, and he is in the back end of that. Mike Leak eats up innings. Uh, Zach Gallon eats up innings. So we can see, and even Luke Weaver, if he stays healthy, they can get into the sixth and seventh, which is wonderful, right? Robbie Ray, on the other hand, I get a little worried about because his pitch count goes up, and I don't even think he'll be there. So what I wanted to talk about is what do you guys think of the Arizona Diamondbacks closer? I can tell you what I think. As a fan of Archie Bradley, I love the guy. As a closer, I don't love the guy. I don't see him being the closer for the whole year. I like him more in the eighth inning, just for the fact that closers are a different, just a different breed, and he just attacks you right away with a fastball and a curveball, and I don't see much else from Archie, and it's just very difficult for me to see him the whole year being a closer. I feel like a guy like Kevin Ginkle is a terrific option for us. And look, if you look at him when he came up last year, he had an ERA of 1.5, I believe, and he was nasty as a closer in the minor leagues. However, what I'm looking for, what I'm looking for right now is the Diamondbacks to go get one guy. And I've mentioned him before, and he said he wanted to go to Boston, but I couldn't care less where he wants to go. If I'm Arizona, I am doing everything I can to get Steve Ciszek. I will keep mentioning him. The guy is a fantastic closer. In the last four years, his ERA has been 2.05, 2.18, 2.02, and 2.81. This guy has been nothing but dominant, okay? You need to keep get a guy like this because not only does he have, he's been a closer before, but he can get out righties and lefties, which I think Archie struggles with sometimes, right? So for me, if you get a guy like Cisic, now you can put Archie in the eighth inning, you can put Ginkle in the seventh, or you can flip-flop those two, and you can have Chafin come in when you need the lefties, and I would still like to get another left-handed um, uh, relief pitcher, but for me, Cishik is a really key to this, right? We, I've been talking about outfielders a lot, so I really don't want to mention outfielders anymore. I really think Cishik, I'm sorry, because I don't have anything holding it. I really think Cishik is the perfect look for the Diamondbacks, because if you get a closer who's proven, everybody can go back in inning. And now you can have still Andres in the sixth if we can't get guys going into the sixth. Then you can have Archie or Ginkle in the seventh, and then you can have one of those in the eighth, and then you have Cishuk in the ninth. Right? That, for me, any successful team that's going to win, like if you looked at Washington, if you looked at Houston, they've had some bullpen guys who can come in. And even though Washington struggled a little bit, they still needed some. They still had to have like Daniel Hudson pitch good to the end of the season, right? You still needed stuff like that. So that's just my take on this. I really feel that in this point of MLB in 2020, you definitely need bullpen just for the fact that Pitchers can't go 115, 120 pitchers anymore, excluding Madison Bumgarner. So you really need to shorten up their pitch count as much as you can, just for, as much as I don't agree with that. So again, I think Steve Seachick is the answer for me. I want to know what you guys think because that's just a big part of the team besides getting another outfielder. And I know that Mike Hazen is still looking. So just let me know what you guys think. I wanted to make a quick video today, like I promised you guys, just for the fact that the rumors were cold and it's more football for today. But still, I wanted to talk about Cishik, and if he goes to Boston, then that would stink. But I think Arizona could make it happen. If they can offer him like six to seven million like they've been doing, I think they can make that work. So let me know what you guys think. Take care, guys, and definitely talk tomorrow. Take care.